five minutes. So as I mentioned in my opening statement, I think there are bigger challenges and opportunities facing America than uh, your ad model, um, or even the question of Libra. So let, let's start with your speech last week. Um, have you changed your view in terms of uh, technology and China uh, from uh, before your speech on Friday uh, to what we uh, read and heard from your speech on Friday? Uh, Congressman, no, I have not changed my views in the last week. I, no, no, no. Uh, 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 ten years ago versus oh. today on your view of China and technology versus your speech on Friday. Uh, Congressman, I think it's fair to say that my views have evolved. I, I probably ten years ago would have been more optimistic that trying to work in China uh, could have contributed to making a more open society. And today it seems that in some cases working in China um, not only does not do that, but compromises American companies' ability to promote our values abroad and around the world. And I think we've seen that um, in the last few weeks uh, in, in a number of cases. So you mentioned uh, in your speech, you said a decade ago, 10 of 10 uh, of the top uh, uh, companies on the internet were American. Now six of 10 are Chinese. So the question I have for you is why are we seeing emerging technologies driven by blockchain uh, at projects and digital currencies being developed elsewhere, such as the case of Libra? Uh, well, Congressman, we have a lot of competition around the world. And, and you're right that over the last decade, pretty much all of the major internet platforms have been American companies with strong free expression values. And I just think that there's no guarantee that that is the state of the world going forward. Today, six of the top 10 companies are coming out of China um, and, and, and certainly do not share our values on things like expression. So, so on that, uh, why Switzerland for Libra? Why not the United States? So the Libra Association is an independent association. We, we're trying to set up a global payment system. Uh, Switzerland is where a lot of the international organizations are. Uh, it, it also- Is there greater regulatory certainty in Switzerland than in, here in the United States for this type of technology? Um, I, I think Switzerland has certainly been forward-leaning on wanting to work through systems like this. But, but I don't want this to, to come across as if... And the United States is not. Well, Congressman, I, well, one of the things that I just want to be clear on is that the Independent Libra Association is it's independent. We're a part of it. We helped stand it up. We don't control it. Um, but I, I just want to make sure it's 100% clear to everyone today that my commitment running Facebook is that we're not going to launch anything that is a, a product or a part of this until we have full support from U.S. regulators, and regardless so, of what the international so the, regulators The project of Libra internally, before you handed this technology, this idea over to the association. Let's think of this. Um, why would you have a project like that? Is it about competition uh, with your peers globally? Is, is that a component? So, sorry, I didn't hear that. So, you have no payments platform on Facebook. Facebook is not a payments platform, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so in seeking to develop a payments platform internally, before you handed the technology over to the association for Libra, was that because of examples globally of competitors creating payments platforms? Congressman, it was partially that and it's partially because I view the financial infrastructure in the United States as outdated. So there, there, are, there are two sets of work that we do um, on payments. One is building payment systems um, that allow people to send money on top of the existing financial system that exists. Uh, that work is relatively less controversial. Um, we're doing it around the world in, in different countries uh, on top of existing payment systems. There's another set of work, which is what we're trying to do with Libra, which is trying to help rethink what a modern um, infrastructure for the, for the financial system would be if you, if you started it uh, today rather than you know, 50 years ago with, on, on a lot of outdated systems. I, mean, I just look at you know, the fact that you can send a text message to someone around the world. Okay, but um, let, me, let me just drill down on this. Alipay has 900 million users. That is a global competitor, in my view, to Facebook. Uh, you see Alipay and WeChat Pay working. Why not just do a Facebook version of Alipay in order to level this? Uh, Congressman, I think you're right that they're certainly competing, not just with us, but all of the American companies on this. 
uh, part of the infrastructure that they're building on is a lot more modern than, um, than, than some of what we would have to build on here. You know, the, the, as soon as uh, we put forward the, the white paper around the Libra project, um, China immediately announced a public-private partnership uh, working with companies like that to extend the, the work that they had already done with Alipay into a digital renminbi as part of the Belt and Road Initiative that they have. Uh, and they're planning on launching that in the next few months. Thank you.